Ottomans. Hmm. I'm not sure on this map, eh? Hey. Oh, that's fine. That's not great. Okay. So, my options... My options. Um, I don't know if she'll play multi TC. She's been playing a lot of Ottomans lately. I don't know whether to go all in. Because that's what I would do in Arabia. I would just go mass, mass feudal. But how does how goes the English crowd? Uh, not too bad. Still not crazy comfortable with them. Still Kong too. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure. I'm not going getting survival techniques because I don't want to slow down my uptime. What is this still? 15%. Mm. Mm. So I don't know whether to go multi TC or not. I don't know whether she will go multi TC or not. But I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Do I go? Do I just go mass feudal? Do I? I am not sure. What's well, a lot of wood here? Good. On this map, your hill runs out of wood and gold very quickly. Nice to have all this wood, so I could wall this, secure a bunch of wood for myself. Humble scout. Luckily, we have a tool to help with. You don't know. Yes, but see, I don't. I don't even know if I scout. She's going all in. Do I add a second town center? If I scout, she's going two TC. Do I add a second town center? I don't know. I don't know. This map sort of hard to push. I'm tempted to do feudal aggro. I need food. That great. Got that food. I'm tempted to just go mass aggro. I have no sheep. He's really ruined me with the scouting with the sheep. Hmm. Not sure. So that's the plan. Let's try and go mass feudal. And if she goes for a second town center, hopefully we can punch. Map is so defensive. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so indecisive now. I don't know. Just don't know. It didn't get. Hmm. On this map, your base is fairly so it favors boom. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Trade. I'm going all in. Easy. Easy. Oh, she hasn't been here. Okay, I would expect a stable, but just in case she doesn't, let's send those two. 
Let's send those two longbows and hopefully they don't die. Okay, let's scout, let's scout. Okay, does she have a stable? Is it worth sending a villager to try and wall that market? You know... Okay, she has got a... Uh, Not sure if that's still worth it. I will sacrifice a villager. Pray for that villager. Be nice to push her off these deer. You want to wall the market? Yeah, I know. It's just if she scouts it, right? Then I'm just, uh, then I just lose. You see? He's on to it. That's the problem. Pretty stoked with that. Let's back off. Let's back off. And try to get those... Kill the trade on the top right. Yeah, it was a necessary trade. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, the, the payoff would have been huge if I made it. Right. So, there is that. Okay, let's get this tech as soon as we can. Has she walled this yet? Oh! He hasn't... Huh. I see. Yeah, 
I have chickened out. I got I've got a bunch of villagers, so I'm happy with that. Could have been a disaster, but worked out. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling good. Is she aging? I'm not sure what's going on. She's not trading. She's not aging. Well, she might be aging. I think I've got the mass. Sage Engineering. That's fine. Why do I have no villages on food? Stand up, yeah. Yeah, we put a booger. 
You must be getting wood out there. Very nice. That is a baton of Sapah here. Why is this not being healed? That's bad. What am I doing? Not fighting under the influence, unfortunately. I got a lot of villagers. Yeah, on 
Where's Matt? Love to fight under the influence. But I think I killed so many villagers. Two hundred pop? What happened? Hmm. Where are her units? Well, that's just age then. How much gold? Not much. So we'll go knight. What is it when you do highlight fences? Cue them. Um, so that is to delete the side points because you don't need them. So much army, it's stupid. Oh, it's going to be a huge raid. Okay, we're gonna dive her base, because we have to. Yep, let's dive her base. It's just buying time. Wow! Nice! It's very rare that I get to beat Fei Chan. I oh, super stoked about that. Very happy about that. Wow, I'm happy about that. Thanks, guys. 140 military in feudal. Military count. 140. Thanks, Cyrus. That is ridiculous. Villager count. Those wood villagers. Um, wow. So I think, I don't know whether she built traders. Do you get free traders? Do you get like three traders? So maybe she built some traders. And I think because she built these military schools, which take a little while to kick in. So because of that, I think I had early mass. And then on this map, I managed to push her off gold. Well, she had trades, so it didn't really push her off gold. Push her off the wood, push her off the wood. I thought she was chopping here. But then I saw that she was chopping here. So instead of pushing into here I think that was the killer move moving through here and then prepping an army up here knowing that she would retreat and then getting those 15 how many villager kills was that that was a lot I'm not sure what this early trade was that went so well for me I don't really remember that oh I think that is that was when she got caught between two of my armies yeah, exactly, exactly, when she got caught between my two armies. So as English, it's 
it's a very tricky and risky game because your army is so slow. If you're caught out of position and your army gets wiped, you're basically lost. That's why I went to poke in, you know, kill a villager or harass, but then run away knowing that her army is probably going to be bigger because one third of my army is over here with the reinforcements. So the other good thing at the end was when she had the Sapahi here, a mistake would be to pull back my whole army to defend my base. Then she has time to age up, then she has time to get upgrades, and then it's a, well, an even military game, even though I have an eco lead. So the right move is really to dive that base, because I had my upgrades, and she did not. And these men-at-arms, she just has nothing to deal with them. Wow. So village account, but if we look at eco count, I got some vil picks. Eco count, eco count, she's ahead. Yeah, normally Ottomans get a bigger mass, but because Feijan boomed, your infantry army was... Exactly, exactly. And I think because because she went for this and probably got these traders quite early. Um, yeah, so ooh, economy count, economy count. So we can see she got those traders immediately, which is 120 resources per trader. Maybe she expected me to play more uh, passively, because I, I, I tend to like to boom. Uh, but wow, and then the military count at the end there. Wow, that was sick. Stoked. It doesn't matter if I lose the rest of the day. It's nice to take a game from Fei, game from Fei Chan. Pretty rare that I do. All right, notes, and then back into another game. How are we doing? Oh, we've got plenty of time. Hill and Dale, English versus Ottomans. Okay. 23 minutes, win. So what was good... Scouting her trade landmark, therefore all in. Okay, raids and pulling back before her army arrived. Which were the three aggressive sibs you're planning to focus in? Um, no, so he said a couple of aggressive sibs. He recommended French and English, I think. So I'm doing both of those. But I'm going to have China there, so I have a boomy sibs. And China is my favorite sib. So if I ever get too depressed playing French or English, I can always go back to China, um, become happy, and then come back to these two sibs. I was going to maybe instead of French go Rus because they're the strongest at the moment, but I'm not sure. I think because because Rus is I think a very passive play style. Right, you get your you get your Kremlin, which is safe. Then you have gremlins. Then you go for your second town center. Then you bore you put a little wooden fortress on the bore. So I'm very comfortable with that play style. But I think that is is, is very defensive. And even though it'll get me wins, I don't think it'll help me improve as much. Rank streak of one. That's a good streak, right? Almost a fifty percent win rate. Forty nine percent. Okay. Raiding. Thanks for the follow, Voilos. Appreciate it. At the moment is a keyword. Raiding. Wait, what did I say? Rus are really strong at the moment. Oh, balance changes. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm super. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm always excited for the changes. Raiding, because I mean, they they definitely need some. Like the gremlins are too strong, and the rams, the postum rams, are too strong. But that's. I mean, that's RTS, right? There's always going to be a little bit of imbalance. What was I saying? Raiding the wood. Prepping army to catch retreating vils. I think that's what won me the game. And then also ignoring her sapahi. Diving her base. Um, going castle age. Once had 200 pop, 200 pop feudal. That's going to be the title of this YouTube. Wow. Super stoked. Super stoked. All right, let's go again. Took them like 